Welcome to my channel friends. Today we will see how to configure a VPN IPsec icon between uh, PFSense, OpenSense firewall and SRX Juniper firewall. So let's get started. Um, on the left hand side you can see the topology where I have SRX device on the left hand side with the IP external 192.168.2253 and on the right hand side I have PFSense firewall with the IP 192.168.2547 and the encryption domain here is um, 555.55.55.55 which is behind the SRX device and 192.168.137.65 which is behind the PFSense so these are the proxy ideas on each end and let's get started uh, let me first show you the configuration that i have i believe i have already configured the vpn on pfsense but then i will delete that and i will reconfigure everything all right guys um this is the ssh access of my firewall as you can see um this is the phase one proposal DH group 2, SHA 1, 3 dash, 86400, mode main, and this is my pre shared key. And you can see here my phase 1 gateway, peer address 225.7, which is the PF sense firewall gate uh, firewall interface. And my interface is this one, which is in So this is the interface that I used and it, the interface must be in the trust zone. So you can see here, uh, this is the interface, uh, the exit interface from the SRX point of view. And one more thing. So this is the encryption domain that falls in the encryption domain, 55, 55, 55, 55. And let me show the phase two configuration. ESP, SHA-1, 3DES, lifetime 3600. And the tunnel interface is ST-01. And I do have a route. So you can see here, I have a default route. It's default static route pointing to 192.168.137.165, which is the subnet behind the PFSense. And uh, this is a PF Sense firewall. So you can see here, this is the internal interface, uh, which is uh, the remote proxy ID for the SRX. And this is the external interface, EM1. Okay. So, so here is the interface detail. This is the interface that I'll be using to establish the VPN. You can see here. So uh, make sure you don't have any NAT rule in place to do any kind of uh, source NATing. I have removed uh, all the NAT rules from here in the list. So 
so you can see here i have created a gateway lan gateway and i have given the gateway as 192.168.25.5 and this is my static route 555555 pointing to my gateway and let's jump to the IP sec configuration you can see here. I will reconfigure it one more time. Before that, I would like to show you. So now it is in established state. For the last one hour, you can see here uh, the tunnels are coming up. So let's disconnect this and let's reconfigure everything. Okay. So this is going to be IP version one, IPv4, and my interface is going to be, exit interface is going to be LAN interface. In my case, uh, 192.168.225.7. Remote gateway is not, uh -oh. remote gateway is It is going to be mutual PSK. I don't want to change this. By default, your ID payload will have your local exit interface IP. I have the same pre-shared key on the other end. Well, this is going to be three dash SHA one group two. I don't want DVD as of now. Okay, we have our face one. I will create phase two. You can see here, uh, I have a similar setup. I just wanted to show you people that how to configure IPsec on PF sense. You can see here the tunnels are up, active. Well, this is for my negotiation. You 
you can see here the assets are up i will show you in cli as well uh, let me do one thing let me try to initiate some traffic from this end let's go to ping let's see here you can see here uh, the in and out packets are increasing i've sent 10 packets and now you can see here the 10 packet which went out You can see here that the phase one, phase one is up here. So both phase one, phase two are up and we are able to send the traffic as well. So this is the information about the ESA. let me just show you whether let me just clarify this thing um whether these traffics are getting encapsulated into esp protocol or esp or not let's try that let's try to take a packet capture on lan interface So you can see here, these are the ESP packet. Whenever you initiate the ICMP, the original packet, it gets encapsulated and encrypted into ESP. And then you will see the ESP packet here. That's all for today, guys. And I hope you really enjoyed the video and you learned how to configure IPsec on PFSense, OpenSense Firewall. Please do subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and if you have any queries, just leave a comment below so that I can uh, I can uh, help you out with your queries. All right, guys. Um, have a good day. Bye bye.